Hello everybody, welcome back to our next installment of this Elden Ring Let's Play. Our protagonist, Frostitude, is our, uh, our index Frost Mage. I have a couple things planned for this episode. I think that there is a dungeon somewhere in this area, so I figured we could kind of explore this region a little bit, because I'm not entirely sure what else might be there. Figured we could come up and take a look at the Erd Tree. And then we could also stop down at what I imagine is a dungeon right here. Um, in this, like, tunnel. See what kind of trouble we can get into. What kind of hijinks we can find. And then after that, if there's still time, we'll come down here and we'll investigate a little bit of the southern Weeping Peninsula. Hope everybody had a good day. I worked most of the day, so I'm a little tired, but I was actually really looking forward to coming home and continuing this adventure. Those guys are hostile. Huh, maybe we can fight one. I don't know what their deal is. Oh, wow. Okay. Looks like I... Guard broke him. Alright. Well, they don't really drop much. And they're not very difficult. <laughs> so we'll just continue on here. Looks like there's another three of them down there. Let's check down this way. And see if we can find ourselves a dungeon somewhere. In this vicinity. bell ringing off in the distance is quite ominous. Oh, resin. Nice. I can do some crafting with that. Looks like there's some kind of mercenary here with a bunch of wolves, but he didn't seem to want to bother me. able to hardcore parkour up. <laughs> this is called the Tomb Sword Cave. Looks pretty spooky. Looks like there's a bond. Looks pretty dark, so I'm gonna go ahead and equip the lantern. I love this lantern. Oh yeah, this is spooky. Look at that. I wonder what, uh awaits us in here. Some kind of enemy. Ah, poison. This is poison. Okay. I don't know if I really even have anything to deal with poison. Item crafting. Um, here. Neutralizing boluses alleviates poison buildup and cures poison, but it requires great dragonfly head, and I don't have any of those. So I don't have anything to cure poison. I can cure bleed, but uh, not the other one. Okay. So we'll have to be little careful in here, where we step. Hello, John Vaughn. Welcome aboard to the stream. Hope you're having a wonderful day, my dude. Oh, is he gonna shoot poison at me? He sure is. how far this magic will reach. Oh, it reaches far enough. Oh, it doesn't kill him. Wow. Shard of health left. I should be able to run across this little bit of poison and not get uh, status effect. Okay. 
Oh good, it seems to come down pretty quickly too. Alright. There are a couple guys here. Uh, I was worried about that. I'm wondering if they're just not going to, uh, not going to come in. Okay, let's see if we can get back out before we get the status effect. How are you enjoying the game? Um, quite a bit, I'd say. At first, I was I wasn't completely sold on the whole open world aspect of it, because I've played all the Dark Souls, Demon Souls, Bloodborne, you know, and I've kind of gotten used to the linear sort of formulaic aspect of the game. And in this game, it's just so big, it's so wide, it's open, it's like Breath of the Wild, you know. Um, and that was jarring at first, especially for somebody who's been playing these games for 15 years to suddenly just have so many options. And, uh, yeah, I found it overwhelming and, uh, a little directionless. Oh, look at that. But now that I have about 50 hours into the game, I really have to say I'm, I'm loving it. This one could be Mizuki or Miyazaki series. In a lot of the previous games, all those things that were really excellent and triumphant and mashes them all together in this one open world adventure. I, I love it. I'd give it a solid 9 out of 10, if not 10 out of 10. I've had some network uh, issues, and there's some performance problems sometimes, but overall, yeah, I'd say this is about as, as good as it gets. It's very overwhelming at first, for sure. Yeah, it's it's crazy when you're in an area, you know, like you're you're up here in Limgrave, and there's all this stuff. Look, it's just, it's like such a huge spot. Look at how many different places I found. And then you come down across this bridge, and there's a whole other huge continent down here. And you come over here, and there's a huge continent, and you come up here to Lenari of the Lakes, and there's another huge continent, and I'm sure all of this is all stuff, too. Um, this is not my only character. This is actually my, my second character I'm playing through with it. So this character right now is um, level 43, and I think I have, I don't know, six, six, seven hours on this character right now. Um, my main character is around level 90 or so. I have not beaten the game. I've gotten three of the, the rune bearers down, and uh, I'm up in the Altus Plateau now on my, my main character. But I wanted to kind of play through the game before I did a let's play, just to kind of get a, a vibe for you know how the game works, how the combat works, the upgrade systems. So uh, this is not my, my first character here. Although I'm enjoying this character a lot more than my, my main one, so I think this will end up becoming a blind playthrough as I get <laughs> further further up in level. I just killed uh, Radon at the at the festival on my main character, and I killed Renala and I killed Godric, so I have uh, three of the great runes now. And I'm sure the game is huge after that. I don't even know if I'm halfway through <laughs> on that character, you know? All right, let's, uh, let's kill these guys here. We should be able to... Well, Pebble doesn't quite kill them. But I don't want to spend so much mana on the great Glintstone Shard, but I guess I will. Okay. Ah. Little poison plant, looks like. The small guys are pretty easy to deal with, but the big ones have so much health. Ooh, are these all... Yeah, that's a that's a trap there, if I ever saw one. I'm wondering if I can just Horfrost stomp all these guys to death. Let's see if this works. Yes! <laughs> that's very satisfying. It's a very powerful weapon art. It's just you have to recognize that as a, as a trap. Oh, there's a boss room right here. I have no idea what's what's inside of here. I have no idea what to expect. Um, I wonder if it's some kind of poison boss, if it's a humanoid. I think I'll just continue with the loadout I currently have, I guess. Maybe I'll summon my wolves if I have to. Alright, let's take a look. Oh, boy. Yeah, so I'm gonna get poisoned for sure. Might as well just stomp a few times and see if I can kill a lot of the ads. See if I can help my crossplay. Yeah, okay. So that was not too bad. That could have been significantly worse. 
Looks like none of these plants are gatherable. I got a pretty cool item there. Raises maximum stamina. I want something that raises like stamina regeneration, almost like a grass crest shield, you know? But I haven't found anything quite like that in the game yet. Let's go rest at the bonfire just to get this poison effect off us. Well, that was a fun little little cave. wasn't very difficult. wasn't very long, but it was fun. So next up, I think I want to try going to this Erd tree that's here. Because there's normally some kind of, like, guardian of the Erd trees, you know? And I'm wondering if I can, you know, fight that guy and maybe level up my wondrous flask of physic, or whatever they call it. It seems like these guardians drop materials that help. How are you liking the game, Josh? I presume you're having a good time with it too. left here. There's the tree. So there should be some kind of guardian underneath it that will give us delicious treasure. Hopefully it's just not too difficult to kill. We'll see. <laughs> oh yeah, okay. There it is. I can summon my dogs for it, but I'm I'm gonna try to do it without them, I think. Okay, I'm gonna hit him pretty hard at least. Whoa! Oh man, I rode right into that. Okay. <laughs> well, we both took a pretty good swing at each other. Okay. That move has some excellent reach. Oh, that's a two-parter. That's a three-parter. Oh, I propped a frostbite on him. Excellent. He should be a little slower now. Oh, okay. Nice. Giving me a bit of a light show. Okay. Might be able to get two hits here during that recovery. Good. Okay. A lot of these hits just look like they're three parters. Mm -hmm. And a big slam. Nice. Should let us come in and get some hits here. I don't want to get greedy. Got him. Nice. Looks like we actually got a second frostbite to proc on him during that fight. Oh, excellent. Okay, so we got two additional components of the physics. That's what I was hoping for. I don't know what those do yet, but uh, when we rest at a bonfire, I can try to put it together and see. singing bats. They're super creepy. Okay, 
It's so pretty though. Okay. So next up, I suppose there are these tunnels down here. I don't even know how to get down there. Let's see if we can figure it out. This is probably going to be too far. Oh, there's tombstones we can hop on. Okay, I've seen this before. Let's try not to die. Bats, I'm not... Oh, okay. Is that a lightning strike? Yep, that was definitely a lightning strike. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Okay. Okay. Alright. <laughs> this is not great. We got one. Okay. Bats here. Oh, that was a that was a good pass. Okay, we got one more. It looks like he's pretty high. We got him. Oh boy! Yikes! Yikes! All right, it's time to get out of here. I think. <laughs> pretty cool, though. Pretty cool fight. All right. Like it's actually this way. Back through the gauntlet of lightning. Oh no, there's definitely no way it's that way. There's nothing there. Oh, no. It has to be this way, I suppose. Or is there a safe way to get down from here? It doesn't look great. Go ahead and heal. And there's a trick, I think. Item crafting. We'll make some of these. And going through the inventory, you can consume this soft cotton. It reduces fall damage. I don't know if that's going to allow us to survive this, but let's try it. Ah, there we are. Let's see. The Morn Tunnel. Alright. I wonder if there's a secret area we can drop off to. Ah, yeah, it's right there. Okay. We'll have to ride the elevator back up then. <laughs> there always seems to be this secret areas on these elevators in this game. I mean, there's always been in the Dark Souls games, but this game has really notched that up quite a bit. Smithing Stone 1. Okay. Some upgrade material. Go ahead and rest here and get some of our... Oh, no! Ooh. Don't know why it's backdashing. <laughs> that could have been bad. <laughs> I yeet myself right down the elevator shift. I made myself some delicious coffee. Very much enjoying it. I do believe I can level up. I'm not sure what to do at this point. I kind of have the stat distribution I was hoping for. I have the 14-18 strength decks that I need to wield the weapons I want to wield. The 30 intellect is pretty good, but as you can see, it's not really scaling my damage anymore. So I'm thinking... Vigor and Mind. I could get each of these up to maybe 25? Because I'm feeling I'm a little light on health and mana, to be honest, HP and FP. If I could get up to like 800 health and like maybe 100 something, 120 Mind, I feel like I'd be a little bit more comfortable with that distribution, so I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do Vigor in Mind. We'll see what happens. Alright, let's see what we have in here. Uh, okay, so I'm going to 
equip the item that allows me to heal whenever I get a critical hit. And that'll give me a little bit of sustain in here. I think I'm just gonna bum rush this guy, to be honest. Okay. Hit him pretty hard. Oh, there's a lot going on. There's a lot of enemies down there. That one has wings. Okay. I could jump over there, but... Is he sleeping? Maybe I could sneak up on him? Oh, I don't know about that. Got him with the guard counter. Welcome aboard the stream. Looks like there's a couple down there. I can maybe sneak up on this guy. Oh, there's a third one. Oh, okay. Um, I'm going to Horfrost stomp these two. And hope they die. And kill that one. Ha! Alright. Success. We win. the execution animation on this scythe. You just kind of put it against their throat and then kick them forward and it like decapitates them. It's brutal. Looks like there's one guy here, one guy there. They're both chilling though. Doesn't look like they want to bother me. Whoa. These guys are very resistant to my damage. My scythe is bouncing right off of them. Not great. I wonder if I two-hand it. If it might not, you know, ricochet off. I feel like I'm missing some things. I want to be thorough here. It's down this way. Ah, oh, there's a chest. Okay. I'm sure there's a million things guarding it. Ah, look at this sneaky beaky. Okay, I'm gonna try two-handing the weapon and seeing if it still bounces. It doesn't. Alright, so that's the secret, I think. It's a somber stone. Not a trap. Okay. I think the Exalted Flesh is a buff you can consume that gives you increased physical damage or something along those lines. Sounds like there's a- oh! Boy! Yeah, okay. I'm surprised that it allowed me to guard counter in this narrow hallway. <laughs> I figured the scythe would bounce off one of the walls. Hmm. Okay. There's a lot going on here.
got a pickaxe. The timing was close on that guard counter. <laughs> he almost got me. kind of boss is going to be in here? Is it going to be some kind of giant troll, or...? Hmm, <laughs> soft cotton. We just actually used one to get down here. Um, hmm, okay. Well, I think we have the loadout we want. And I have full flasks. I actually didn't have to use anything going through this uh, dungeon. I don't think I even took a single point of damage in here, actually. So, we are good to fight this boss, I think. Another somber stone over here. Let's see if we can take a peek and even see what the boss might be. I, I don't even think I see anything in there. There's something like straight ahead, but it looks like a like a chest. Ah, is there something back in that corner? Yeah, I don't know. All right, so let's <laughs> let's just see what we have, I suppose. Oh yeah, okay. So it's some crazy, some crazy guy. Wow, my magic did quite a quite a decent amount of damage. To him. I stomped it, too. Wow. Oh, that's not good. Oh! Oh, that's a very delayed swing. Interesting. Okay. Oh, he's almost dead. Ha! <laughs> Did he just headbutt me? Okay. Well, I mean... <laughs> it wasn't a very, wasn't a very hard boss. One of the previous bosses I fought was that Rune Bear, and uh, that one gave me a really tough time. It was huge. It had tons of health. It was very aggressive, and then this guy just falls over. What did he drop? He dropped a uh, weapon, right? Yeah, look at that. The rusted anchor. Maybe I could two-hand it. Uh, no, not even. Not even with two hands, I don't think. Look at this thing. Oh. Oh, it's pretty fast. Okay. Okay. We got a... Okay. Well, I mean, it's... It's kind of wild. It's super rusty. It's kind of disgusting. I certainly wouldn't want to get hit with it. <laughs> okay, and then we got that pickaxe, too. Oh, that thing's menacing. Yeah, look at that. It's got like a full-on hammer on one end of it, and then this giant, disgusting pick. Okay, very similar moveset. You just kind of slam it down, almost like it's a great hammer. Okay, and then we'll try the back dash. Yep, a bird. So it's pretty much the exact same moveset as the, uh, the hammer, except for that. Huh. Well, interesting weapon. Let's get going. Let's scoot out of here. I'm not entirely sure where to go next. I think we've uh, we've more or less covered a lot of the things in this area. We can explore a little bit. See if we can find something. Uh, we can probably teleport up to Tomb Sword, maybe, and then we can just take a look at the rest of this area. See if we can find anything interesting here. Take a look 
see how long this episode is. Only 30 minutes. Yeah, we have a while. Okay. Um, we can take this off here. We can see what this is. We can check out this kind of swampy area. And then I want to check out this area too. Jukes. Hmm. The uh, the scythe is not a very good shield. It turns out. I actually took more damage from those two rats than I did like that whole dungeon. I think. Ah. Okay. Interesting. There is a downstairs. We'll acquire these uh, lilies. I don't think there's anything else here, really. I hear something. What do I hear? I hear like a... like a ringing, almost. Hmm. I wonder if it's on top of this thing. It is, look at that. Can't seem to hit it, unfortunately. So it's sometimes very hard to get off of the horse. Uh, clicking the left thumbstick doesn't seem to work a lot, and the uh, the sight just has such a high profile that it doesn't hit a lot of the things on the ground. I find that's a shame. I don't really want to reload and run back though, so hopefully it's not a uh, an important item because <laughs> we'll be skipping that one. Let's go ahead and put the lantern on. I already see a guy with a crossbow right here. Maybe we can hit him for Oh, he's got some health. It's a little tougher than I thought he'd be. Looks like there's another one in here. Oh, okay. Interesting. Perfumer's Bolt. So they're called Perfumers, I guess. Spooky door, let's open that up. Uh-oh. Not a trap. <laughs> Alright. Oh, wow. Winged Scythe. That's pretty cool. Um, requires quite a bit of strength and faith. Alright. Sacred Scythe resembling a pair of white wings deals holy damage. According to pagan belief, white-winged maidens are said to be death's gentle envoys. Hmm. Okay, cool. Got a weapon for our trouble. that off there. Tomb Sword Ruins. Let's go down and check this poison area out. Oh, 
Oh, there's a stake of America here, which means this is kind of a dangerous area. All right, I'm down. Let's see what we got. Which vein ruins? Oh yeah, okay. Oh, okay. Are those borders? Do those end up like? Oh no. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, they are. Anti-poison stuff. <laughs> poison bloom. I don't know if that'll help us. Okay. Well, it looks like we took everything out. I'm going to investigate what's down here. Picked it, crafted it, used it. <laughs> Let's see what this guy's deal is. He looks like he's having a straight up bad time. Actually, it might even be a woman that's a female helmet. Huh. It will do no good, I swear it. And yet you persist. You frothing degenerates! Frothing degenerates? <laughs> His voice acting is quite theatric. <laughs> it will do no good. <laughs> so I don't know what to do with her. Um, I guess we leave her for now. I mean, I could kill her. But what if she's like an important NPC? Looks like they drove frozen stakes through her hands. Okay. Well, I don't know who that is, so... Probably not worth breaking her out. I like how I can travel on Torrent through the poison and not get the status effect. So that's Witch Bane Ruins. We can come to the south here. Looks like there might be a tower or something. And then that might be all she wrote for this area. Look at all these corpses on the beach. Holy crap. I wonder if we can stomp all these guys. That would be hilarious. Oh yeah. There's tons of them. Oh, yeah. You sure can stomp them all. I wonder if they give good runes. No, they do not. Does anything happen if you kill them all? Huh, there's gotta be some story for why there's a million people just chilling on the beach. Oh no, they grab? Oh. Oh, okay. 
Yikes. Wish I had known that. Hmm. Almost seems a little pointless to fight them. Doesn't seem like anything really good comes of it. Wonder if there's some kind of like boss that comes if you kill enough of them. I love killing these guys. I need as many of those feet as we can get. And there's tons of them. Got him. There we go. Got one of the feet. Looks like all the rest of them flew away. squids here, but I don't see any items or anything of real value down there. I don't know if there's any reason to even tangle with those guys. I think they're almost there as a deterrent from even going in that direction. There we go, got them. A lot of flight pinions, but not a whole lot of feet. It's weird because I'm sure all of those birds have feet. <laughs> I'm just not getting them when I kill them. Yeah, it doesn't seem like anything really happens from killing these guys. No great dragon is coming out of the sky to avenge them or anything. Houses are here. Oh, there's a site of lost grace here. Okay. Ah, there's a merchant inside. Gotcha. Well, there's been an age since I've seen a customer. How can I help here at the end of the earth? Oh, he's also got a lantern. Oh, he's got a Lost Ashes of War. Oh, he's got the Zwayhander, too. Uh, that's a real important weapon for a lot of people. <laughs> that's a classic. I think I'll buy this Lost Ashes of War. I don't know if I should buy these. I probably should, right? Damn, I actually don't have enough souls to buy the uh, the next one. I don't think I have anything of value to sell, really. No. Have a safe journey. Okay. Bats. <laughs> it appears there's some kind of tower here. We can take a look and see what it is. It might have absolutely nothing of value, but maybe it does. Oh, wow, okay. Did I just get hit by something huge? Oh, Yes, okay, I see. Well, screw all of that. We're going up there. Let me climb, please. Nice. Alright, I'm not fighting all those guys if I'm gonna be getting shelled by, like, artillery. <laughs> Might be a guy coming up behind me. Yeah. 
Gotta go ahead and take care of that. There's another one. Well, there's, just, there's another one coming up. It out. What's that? Oh no! Ensnared in a transporter trap? No! <laughs> well, that's spicy. Oh, the royal capital, huh? That's not happening. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> Go ahead and get our stuff back. I don't know what this guy is. Where are we even? Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I don't think we're supposed to be here yet. I bet this guy's alive, 100%, right? Oh yeah, of course. Oh my god, he's got all of Okay. Okay. Is he gonna stomp or something? Get some kind of little charge move here. Yeah, yeah. Okay, he throws a tantrum. Oh, wow, okay. I didn't even really think I was going to get hit by whatever that is, but. I guess so. I don't know, should we try to kill this guy? I don't even know what he is. <laughs> some giant flame guy that has 80 billion health, apparently. A couple times. Okay, we stomped him. We stomped him. Didn't seem to do a whole lot. Oh no, I mistimed that roll. Big time. All the health. I gotta bait something out here. Oh, that's a two-parter. Wow, okay. Jeez, the range on that's like half of the room. I had my shield up too. I don't know if I can kill this guy. I'm, I'm sort of low key thinking I cannot kill this guy. <laughs> I don't know, should I keep trying? I suppose, right? Boy, does he have some health. Devastating attack. Very delayed. Wonder if I can just keep trying to get frostbite on. Doesn't seem to hurt. 
Oh, how did that hit me? I feel like I was a football field away from him. Oh my goodness! Okay, yeah, I think we're gonna teleport out of here. Um, this is not a fight I think I'm ready for at this point. I need significantly more health and stamina and damage, and I think, I think I need everything. I think I need a little bit of all the things before I... Before I fight that guy. Uh, so we'll go ahead and teleport back. Okay. Uh, we were at the Tower of Return, but I think we'll go ahead and we'll come to Castle Morn Rampart and we'll just swing on down, see if we can make it to Castle Morn and then uh, end this episode. I just got my ass thoroughly beat by whatever that guy was. Maybe that's what uh, this game has in store for me later on. Giant enemies with 100,000 health that <laughs> can hit me from a mile and a half away. I mean, I guess you just have to iframe through all those attacks, right? Because there doesn't seem to be a range that's really safe. And even with, ooh, girl! Even with my shield raised, I was getting hit by that. Is it safe here? Yeah, it is. It's violent though. Got a cold seed. Okay, good. Locked it. We can probably block this one with this rock here. Yeah, good. Oh, it's another one. It's like a different of the same guy. Well, he went down easy. I guess that's just the difference between a guy that you're supposed to be fighting and a guy that you're not supposed to be fighting. <laughs> oh man. Castle Morn, I think it is. Looks pretty cool. Looks castly. Oh yeah, it's pretty it's pretty intimidating. Are we storming this thing? <laughs> got a uh, got a bonfire here. Look like this room really has anything in it. All right. Well, I think we'll call this episode there, and then in the the next episode we'll just go ahead and raid Castle Moor, see what this place has to offer. I'll catch you in a few.